season two of the house. His third and most recent album. Kelly Pickler's here in LA. She was a top 10 finalist in season five. That was won by Taylor Hicks. Her debut album, Small Town Girl, was released last October. She's got a big television scene uh, coming too. Ace Young is back. He was also an American Idol top 10 finalist in year five. He's working on an album, just released an independent single called Scattered. And in New York is Latoya London, American Idol top 10 finalist season three. Her first album, Love and Life, was released in 2005. And she's going to play Nettie in the Chicago run of Oprah Winfrey's Broadway musical, The Color Purple. The new season of American Idol is making it... Uh, are you nostalgic, by the way, Ruben, for your experience, or are you over it? Is American Idol history to you? No, I, I, I still enjoy watching it every now and again, but uh, I love the show. Do you still like it, Kelly? I love it. I think it's exciting, and... Um... You know, I mean, it's a phenomenal show, and each year the ratings get higher and the talent gets better, and so it's a lot of fun. Ace? I love, uh, I love watching the competition when you get to know the people really well, and I also love the auditioning time right now because <laughs> you get to see everything. I mean, you root for your favorites, too? Totally. Latoya, you still like it? Yeah, I love it. I mean, I love what's going on now with the bloopers and the people that didn't make it. Um, you get to see the people that did make it and, and like they said, hear their stories. Um, and, you know, it's still a part of our lives. It's, you know, that's why we're here. That's why we've made it through the door. So, I mean, I love watching the show, and, and I'm going to keep watching it. Concerning this week's auditions, uh, let's take a look at some of the interesting aspirants. Watch. Yeah, you make me feel shiny. Uh, Ruben, <clears throat> is this show exploiting these people? I don't think so. I think people have watched the show long enough to know exactly what's going to go on. They know if you sound bad, then they're going to put you on television. So I don't think they're being exploited at all. By the way, Tuesday's auditions took place in Birmingham. Anything special about why Birmingham? A lot of winners come from Birmingham, Ruben. I don't know, man. You know, I guess, you know, the people here love to watch American Idol and they love to vote for us. And, and you know, if somebody else gets on there this year from Birmingham, I think we might have the same results. And people are polite in Birmingham. Is that what you audition? Very much so. Kelly, what'd you audition? I audition in Greensboro, North Carolina. Yeah. What do you make of these people um, when you see them? Come on. I mean, they're not talented. Right? I mean, come on. Well, I wouldn't say they're not talented. No. No. Everybody what has their own say? little <laughs> special talent. You just have to figure out what it is. Okay, so you don't think they're being exploited? No, you exploit yourself, right? I mean, you know what, <laughs> I mean, you know what you're signing up for. I mean, you see the contracts, you've seen the show. It's been on what five years now, and so I mean, you know, you know what you're signing up for. So you can't blame anybody but yourself. You agree with that, Ace? I think that's. Uh, I think there's there's. Never a bad talent. There's always a bad booking. So there's always a crowd for somebody, right? And right now we... Uh, All right, why we do you think everything. some of these people, honestly, uh -huh. go on? Um, I think a lot of them, truthfully, never really had the, uh, the make or break opportunity. I, I know I didn't really have mine until I was, I was older. I started singing when I was about 11 years old. And it wasn't until I got out of high school that I decided to really pursue it. And, um, you know, it's just... It's, it's, it's an odd thing. You never know when you're going to actually have an opportunity to do something for the rest of your life. Latoya, do you think they all believe they have talent? Of course. You know, whether it's, you know, putting on their costumes and coming in and trying to show every aspect of their talent, maybe they can get on some kind of way. You know, they want to show what they can do. And if, you know, if they don't, if they didn't, don't, don't do this right, they pull something else out of their hat. So, I mean, 
People want to, they want to be famous, they want to be rich, and they feel like, you know, American Idol is a way for them to get there, to be noticed, and, um, you know, they're let through to the point where they see Paula, Randy, and Simon, so they think that they've gotten there for a reason. Um, because honestly, we go through a few auditions before we reach Paula, Simon, and Randy, so, um, you know, they think so they've gotten there for a reason, up. and yeah. and then that's when, when they get the truth. <laughs> now, Jennifer Hudson, who's won two already awards for supporting actress for Dream Girls and is nominated for an Academy Award, mm -hmm. said this recently for Essence magazine. She said, on American Idol, you go through this mental thing. You've got to get yourself back together. You've been abused, misled, brainwashed to believe whatever they want you to think. What do you make of that, Ruben? Uh, I don't think anybody abused me or brainwashed me, but I, I'm so happy for Jennifer, and I, you know, I've always been a fan of hers, and I'm actually just, I'm, I'm happy that God has blessed her with the success that she's had with uh, the Dream Girls film. I'm, I'm, I'm really pleased for her, but I don't think that um, I ever went through abused. any abuse. No, not at all. Were you they, telling? They did any, they, I'm sorry. What do you make of what she said? Well, they didn't take me out back and beat me, so... No, you, know, <laughs> no, you know, um, I think that you know what you're signing up for when you, um, when you get in line. I mean, you have contracts that you read them all. It specifically states everything in there. And, I mean, you, you're just, it's at your own risk. So, I mean, Did they, tell they you took what you great have... care of me, so I can't complain. They tell you what you have to sing, Ace? Uh, that's the one thing I would tell everybody is learn a lot of music that you're not familiar with because it's not the show that uh, tells you what you can and can't sing. You really have to get songs cleared through the publishers, the writers. So you may know a lot of Beatles songs or a lot of Michael Jackson songs and you can't do those on the show because the publishing won't there. Yeah. What do you think, Latoya, about what Jennifer said? Um, I feel that everyone has their own experience. Um, my experience wasn't like that. Um, I wasn't... Um, made to do anything that I didn't want to do. Um, I wasn't, you know, we were in a bubble. So, you know, when you get on the show, yeah, you sign the contract, and there's things that it states in the contract that, you know, your likeness and all these things is at their discretion. You know, so, if you, and, and the only way you can get through is if you sign it. So you sign it. So um, once you get to that point um, where you're on the show and in the top 12, I mean, you're pretty much in a bubble. and. You know, I personally yeah. didn't go through anything bad uh, as far as the stressfulness and, and the things that we don't know about. Um, that's just kind of show experience. business, you yeah. know what I mean? You just got to go uh, when, with it. When we come back, the Alabama Idol wannabe whose mom said she'd never make the grade. She got good news and bad from the judges. Yeah, She'll I'm talk about it cover, when we come back. I'll just ignore it. <laughs> Why is my... You ain't no good, but oh, they don't know. Baby, now I compare you to a kiss from a rose on the grave. Oh, the more I get of you, the stranger it feels, yeah. Chris, you threw to Hollywood. <laughs> Welcome to Hollywood. You've made it to Hollywood. We said yes. Just remember that. <laughs> I hope the sea would be as turquoise as my dreams. I hope the water held the wonders I had foreseen. I hope the beaches would stretch as far as my imagination. I hope the Caribbean would be as warm as my expectations. I hope the time would be as precious as it seemed. I hope the moments would be as magical as my dreams. I hope the views would be as wondrous as my visions. I hope the journey would fill my soul with inspiration. I, I imagined, imagined it, it would be perfect. perfect. It, it was. was. At UBS, financial solutions come from listening very carefully to what our clients say, but even more carefully to what they don't say. You could call it the commitment to understand. We just call it you and us. You and us, UBS. Show me something cool, man. Come on.
Welcome to a network where anyone can be famous. Welcome to the human network. Listen up, energy hogs. Get in there and waste some energy. Woohoo! All this hot water for just one pair of pants. Blinky windows, too. Keep wasting. They'll never know what hit them. What the? Boss, they're home, and they've got energy efficient bulbs. Ah! You've got the power to get rid of energy hogs. You can update appliances and lots of other things. Get the tips you need at energyhog.org and play fun games, too. Get the energy hogs out of your home. Hey, wait for me! On the next CNN Special Investigations Unit, our doctors and nurses in Baghdad. Just get goosebumps when I see how strong those guys are. They have courage that I just would never expect people to have. Combat Hospital. CNN Saturday night, 8 Eastern. Closed captioning provided by Head On. Head On applied directly to the forehead. Head On applied direct. Head On applied directly to your forehead. Head On applied. Head On. I can't stand your commercial, but your product is amazing. Head On is available without a prescription. Joining us from Tulsa, Oklahoma, is Nicole Gatsman, who's been auditioning in uh, Birmingham, Alabama, on Tuesday's edition of American Idol. She did not make it through to Hollywood. Let's watch Nicole's audition before we talk with her. Watch. They think we're lovers, kept undercover. I'll just ignore it, but they keep saying we laugh just a little too loud. You're very old-fashioned, and you sing through your nose, and it's a shame. No, you're young. I, I just think that you got a lot more work to do if you really, really, really want this. I really, really, really want this. I don't think you're nearly ready for this. Okay. Nicole, did you accept that? Um, did I accept that? I... Yeah, in other words, was it fair criticism? Um, I think so. It wasn't as harsh as other people, so I just accepted it. I took it, and I, I, you know, went back to my voice lessons and just tried harder, and I expect to go back next year just more prepared now. The show created the impression that your mom didn't think you could sing. Was that false? That was misinterpreted. He, he, they had asked me about how I began singing, and I told them about when I was six and doing pageants, and my mom didn't think I could sing. But, I mean, she doesn't think I'm talentless now, obviously. Well... I don't think I am either, but, I mean, she doesn't think that now. It's just misinterpreted, so. You've entered beauty pageants, too, right? Yes. In fact, you know the new Miss America, right? Yes, Lauren Nelson. Well, Very you exciting. You have the same voice teacher? Yes, we have the same voice teacher. It's, I was all excited that night, so. Sure. Are you going to come back to American Idol again? If something doesn't happen before then, that's, you know, even better. Um, that would be great too, but if not, I'm looking forward to American Idol next year. So that, that yes, I, I will go really back. Ready for this. But your your dreams of being a singer or show business person have not faltered because of this. No, they'll have to have 200 million judges in front of me tell me no before I'll hmm. stop. So see they, now, that's she's going to make it. That's the right girl. Absolutely. You got that gumption, Nicole. You're going to make it. Thank Thanks. You. That's Nicole uh, Gatsman from uh, Tulsa. An email question, guys, from Don in Toronto, Canada. I hate the judge's remarks about people being fat or ugly, having bad hair. It's not a beauty contest. Don't you think the judges should restrict their comments to singing, Kelly? Um, you know, I think it's American Idol. I, th I think that um, the judges are just trying to find the whole package or whatever, and they're going to critique everything about you. I mean, this is the most critical industry you can be in because you're constantly being watched and judged and and picked apart and um, I think that if you can't take constructive criticism then this is the wrong profession for you so I think that you have to be able to take whatever they give you everyone's entitled to their own opinion and um, you're gonna get turned down more times than you're gonna get picked so. Ruben your runner-up has done very well too does that bug you not at all I'm actually very happy for Clay you know We've both done well. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good experience for you, obviously. 
We have an email question so. from email question from Casey in Montreal. I used to get sad when my favorites were eliminated, but now I think it's better not to win because you have more freedom to do your own thing. What's your experience, Ace? I think that's uh, I think as long as you know who you are when you get into it, you know what you stand for and you're ready to push forward, um, I really think the opportunity stands there for you, regardless. I mean, Kelly's doing great on her album. Chris is doing amazing right now. Um, Catherine's just getting out of the box. Taylor's doing great. And uh, I'm putting my album together with some of the best people in the world as far as writing, so I couldn't, I couldn't be in a better place. And Latoya, you're doing fine, right? I'm doing wonderful. Um, I'm steady working, you know, performing everywhere. I have a, a, a wonderful job coming up in May, so um, I'm very excited. Um, and American Idol just opens up a lot of doors for all of us, whether you win, whether you don't. You know, it's just about how much you do your part to pursue your dreams afterwards. Up next, the Idol hopeful who was branded by USA Today as the worst singer on last night's show. Is it true that he learned to sing from Randy and Paula? <laughs> we'll ask him when we come back. You were absolutely useless during that audition. Just let me do it now. You, I swear to God, if I do not advance, if I do not make it, I was wrong. I want another chance. Let me do another one. America, they love me. Just give me a chance. All I'm saying is, if there was a way, chance. if there was some way, we could work it. I can do whatever. Cartwheels, you want to do cartwheels? I want another chance. I've worked so hard for this. Need a chance. Got one more for you. I can, I can do something I'm else. I'm sure you've I can got a hundred. Um, can I give you guys something else? Um... Yes, an exit. <sighs> what are your meetings costing you? Drive two and a half hours for a meeting that lasts an hour. You do the math. Losing great ideas because I can't collaborate in real time with other team members. Watching a deal go down the drain because I didn't have the right people with me. Add it all up, and you need GoToMeeting. You can try it free right now, just like I did. People are saying GoToMeeting is the most affordable, easy-to-use web conferencing tool available. I'm traveling less, but still exceeding my sales goals with GoToMeeting. Now I can easily collaborate with other coworkers wherever they may be with GoToMeeting. I can close deals faster because I can bring in any of my experts in seconds with GoToMeeting. And you can try it free right now. For your free GoToMeeting trial, visit GoToMeeting.com, click the Try It Free button, and use promo code TV. That's GoToMeeting.com, promo code TV, for your free trial of GoToMeeting. On DVD February 6th, from director Clint Eastwood comes the Academy Award-nominated Flags of Our Fathers. The powerful companion film to the Best Picture nominee, Letters from Iwo Jima. Own Flags of Our Fathers on DVD February 6th. You can't just sit behind a desk all the time and, and think you know what's going on in the world. You have to go out and see it for yourself. What should be difficult about talking on the phone? It works just like my old home phone service. Simple. Same phone equipment, same phone number. I'm a huge fan of Simple. Unlimited local and long distance on one simple plan. If there were a Simple fan club, I would be president. Even saving is simple. That's right. The bundle makes saving simple. Get Charter Telephone for only $29.99 per month for three months. Call today. Penelope Cruz is nominated for an Academy Award for Best Actress in Volver. She's wonderful, magnificent, a triumph, a force of nature. She's a flesh and blood screen goddess. Ay, que rico. Two thumbs up. Gracias. One of the year's best. You do not want to miss this one. <laughs> Volver, a film by Almodovar, rated R. Now playing. Let's get to the truth. It's time for answers. Lou Dobbs tonight, CNN tomorrow, 6 Eastern. In every other audition city, they fought with the judges. Birmingham was the only place they did take no for an answer. It was possibly the worst version of that song I have ever heard in my life. Thank you. 
Thanks, Thank man. you. That was absolutely useless. It's a no. Okay. Thank you. Just like a karaoke performance. Thank you for your time. Nothing was special about it. Actually, you're corny. <laughs> Thank you. Reality, not good enough. Thank you guys so much. That was a complete and utter mess. I appreciate your honesty. I, do. I don't think you're going to be reaching for the stars after that audition. Thank you very much. Bye. That ain't New York. <laughs> we now welcome to Larry King Live, Eric Mueller. His L.A. audition was seen on uh, last night's American Idol. He did not make it through. Yeah. Eric is laughing it up. And yeah, that's we'll, great. Take it easy, Eric. We're going to show you our performance, and then we'll ask you about it. Watch. Uh oh You see right through the stone and ice. You know you have to learn. The execution of your mind. You know you have to learn. You want to go lower? Yes. Yeah. You see right through distorted eyes. You know you have to learn. No, we need the to go. No, hang on, Eric, Eric, we need to go lower than that. You want lower? The execution of your mind. You know you have to learn. Where'd you get the hair, Eric? Oh, I did like about a week ago. It was great. <laughs> you glad you did that? Yeah, actually, I'm very proud of it. I had a whole lot of fun. You know, I wouldn't well, necessarily do it twice, but... How about the rejection, though, being told, you know, being criticized? I mean, oh, greatest, face that. Greatest moment of my life. Never been happier. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Are you okay, Eric? Oh, Why? I... <laughs> you go on, you sing, they call you the worst singer at USA Today, said you're the worst singer tonight. Yeah, you know, the guy ridicules you, tells you to lower, tells you how to sing while you're singing, and you're happy about it. Well, <laughs> there's a lot more to it than just that, but <laughs> the main point is I went up there, enjoyed myself. I had a goal to set out for, and I succeeded. Which was? Exposure. <laughs> you want to get on which you, and obviously it succeeded. Well, the whole point is if you start to go up on something and crash it on purpose, what more can you do? <laughs> in fact, what do you do for a living, Aaron? Oh, I'm an IT guy, but basically I do almost everything and everything under the sun. Handyman? Handyman, basically a... Uh, I've worked for stores before. I've built office chairs, you know. They, they send me all over the place to do everything. Like, they have me cover other departments when they don't have them filled. Is it true that your audition information suggested that part of your preparation was watching Randy and Paula? I did study them a little bit. <laughs> do, you, do you think you sounded like they do? I didn't even try. <laughs> the, the, song, the song you selected. Oh, Sabbath Blaze Sabbath? Ah, oh, awesome rock song. Just awesome. One of the best. Basically, uh, I started off on one note. They wouldn't let me do it. I drop it down. Wouldn't let me do it. Drop it down, down, down again. <laughs> finally, get, finally get to a point where I just wasn't comfortable with the range, and at that point, it's just kind of like, well, who cares? <laughs> do you sing in clubs and bars and stuff? I've only sang in one bar, and that was only one time. Um, I went up there with a friend, and uh, I went after a Zeppelin song, Stairway to Heaven. Basically, uh, I realized what I was going after, and. Uh, most of the song is pretty bland, but when you go up there, when you go up to those super high vocals, when you go up to something really awesome, basically, uh, well, I left the entire place speechless, you know? I and you I, and I, walk out of, I walk out with the biggest smile on my face. Ruben, what do you make of Eric? Ooh, Ruben. <laughs> hey, Ruben, how you doing, man? What's up? What's up, Eric? Good job, dog. <laughs> oh, I'm just he, was, he was all right, man. He was, <laughs> he was funny. <laughs> okay, good comment. I Kelly, what do you make of our man here? Um, Want to do a duet <laughs> album with him? Oh, absolutely. Huh. Kelly. Um, I'll be honest. I just, uh, come well, on. You know, he had a good time. And if you succeeded your goal, by all means, sing away. Ace, well, I'll sing it down. Your heart out. Ace, what do you make of Eric, who apparently had a very good time that's carrying over? I, uh, I'm just glad to hear you didn't cut your hair last night. Before tonight, you did it. Oh, no, you no. did it before, so you you wanted to cut your hair. It wasn't that you you didn't want to. You know. Oh no no, I did this completely at random. I wasn't expecting okay. to be here at all. I got all mine cut too. Yeah, Kelly cut hers too. I did. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> I'm trying to be like a. Latoya, <laughs> Latoya. He's my role model. Latoya, what do you think of Eric? <laughs> um, I think that you know Eric did his thing. Eric did what he wanted to do. He's he completed his goal. What he set it out to do. Um, my opinion, I don't think it's the type of voice that would appeal to the masses, but there is a market for you, Eric, and I say good luck to you if that's what you want to do. That's all you got the hope for. Okay. <laughs> Eric, is it what you want to do? Do you want to be a performer? Oh. 
with all my heart. Is so what are you going to do? Are you going to take lessons? What are you going to do to make yourself better? Um, this is your goal. Well, actually, um, I came to realize when I was watching my own audition is that one of my real problems is my consonants. Basically, I have a real trouble performing them. It's like a slight speech impediment. Mm -hmm. So basically, uh, I want to grind a little focus into it. And then basically, uh, we'll also, maybe next time, not have so much fun with it. <laughs> maybe a be a little bit more serious. A good singing teacher can correct that. Yeah, it's kind of hard to find one, though. Basic, yeah. well, not in LA. Well, when you're really poor, mate, it's hard. <laughs> you live here? Yeah, in LA. Well, I'm on the outskirts, but. Are you, are you single? Yeah. Happily single. Yeah, I like the way you smile. <laughs> Good luck to you, Eric. <laughs> Thanks, Larry. Eric Mueller. Coming up, the idol contestant who brought her formerly famous mom into the audition to defend her honor. And her mom's here tonight, too. You'll meet them both right really? after the break. <laughs> you stand up shining bright, lonely rivers. Wait for me, wait for me. Cause I'm saving all my love. Yes, I'm saving all my love. I'm saving all my love for you. You. Singular, the network with the fewest dropped calls, has been raising the bar. Now, by adding the strength of the most complete and secure network, AT&T is raising it even higher. Singular is now the new AT&T. Your world delivered. I'm Dolly Smith of the Keystone Slammers, and this is my story. I play on a women's volleyball team that is 55 and older. Sometimes we fall down, but we get right back up. I've got arthritis in my shoulders and my back and my knees. It just gives me a lot of pain. I take a leave in the morning. I just decided one day that I was going to try it. I am just pain-free for the whole day, so I can do all the things that I love to do. A leave really does the trick for me. Here's what people are saying about Osteobiflex, the number one doctor-recommended joint care brand. I'm 77 years old, and I work as a waitress, and if it weren't for Osteobiflex, I just couldn't do it. My doctor recommended I take Osteobiflex, and it, it's great. It really works for me. I'm amazed at the results I've seen from my patients taking Osteobiflex. It works by helping to lubricate the joint, and it helps to maintain the cartilage. Osteobiflex has given me mobility. I wasn't getting that crunching, grinding sound in, in my joints. Not only did it stop the discomfort and the stiffness, but it gave me full mobility again. The glucosamine and chondroitin, as found in Osteobiflex, actually lubricates and cushions your joints to provide free movement, mobility, and comfort. Osteobiflex has given me a whole new life. For a $3 off coupon and more information on Osteobiflex, go to osteobiflex.com right now. Osteobiflex is available wherever quality vitamins and supplements are sold. Hey, movie fans. As CNN covers the Oscar race, play CNN.com's Inside the Envelope. Make your movie predictions for a chance to win a home theater system. Log on to CNN.com slash ITE now. Tomorrow, beginning at 6 a.m. Eastern, get the most news in the morning. New intel on Iraq heads to the hill. Will the report back up the president's plan for more troops? We'll do our own assessment. Tomorrow at 6 a.m. on American Morning. We're back with our panel. Ruben Stoddard's new album is The Return. Kelly Picker's gold album is Small Town Girl. Ace, Ace, Kelly Picker, I'm sorry. Ace Young, <laughs> Scattered is his single. And uh, LaToya London is rehearsing to play Nettie in the Chicago run of Oprah Winfrey's uh, brilliant musical production, The Color Purple. We now welcome Mariana Riccio. Her, Id her idol audition in L.A. was featured on last night's show. She did not make <coughs> it through to Hollywood. With her is her mother, Maria Laura. Now, Maria was one of Dean Martin's glamorous gold diggers. She appeared with him on TV and on stage. 
they, that was one of the prettiest group of girls, luxur more than pretty. Oh, they were unbelievable. Claire. The gold diggers oh, were unbelievable. Ma Maria and that group was unbelievable. She was at her daughter's audition. We'll watch that audition now. Here's Mariana. If I stay, then you'll be mine. I love you till the end of time. So come on and let me know. Should I stay or should I go? Well, we know the should answer to I that, Mariana. <laughs> You sounded like Cher after she's been to the dentist. <laughs> it's like it's no, like. No, please. I'm I'm on my knees. I this opportunity, it means the world to me. You guys. We're well, weird. Please. I think she's. I'm, I'm on my knees. I'm on my knees. <laughs> Cher after the dentist. I don't understand. <laughs> Why were you begging? Um. You know, it's funny, Larry, before I got in, during this whole ordeal, um, before I had gotten into the room, they were just saying, you know, just people in general saying, you know, if they say no, plead your case. It's like, it's so, no, I'm a, I'm, I'm on my been doing theater my whole life and I, acting and stuff, and I guess just as a person following a direction, I, I got into the moment and just, I was running on pure adrenaline. Do you think you perform well? It wasn't my best audition. I'll be honest. I can do much better than what I did. Mariana, were you glad she entered? Maria. Uh, I'm sorry, you're Maria. That's okay. She's, She's Mariana. Right. Yeah. Uh, well, sure. I mean, you can't look back with regret. I mean, uh, actually, I didn't want her to, to do it because um, <laughs> the contract is pretty fierce. They really, <laughs> they own you. You know, it's it's. You really? can't do anything and. And I, I looked at this and I went, I don't think so, because they could edit this, they could make you look like this, they could, you know. And, but we have, she has a lot of little cousins, so they really wanted to see her. They're all over, you know, in the East Coast and out How there. How did you feel when she her. was criticized? Well, I could see right away that she was not singing in the right place. She was nervous and kind of had her nerves in her throat. It's like, I know it's like, that she had prepared I'm, I'm another song and had a backup song, I'm, and they wouldn't let her sing that song because they didn't have the rights to it. So she had to kind of, you know, pull that one Wing out. Wing it out of the air. Would you do it again? Um, audition for American Idol? Um, I don't think I'd audition just again, just because it was just such a long ordeal. I'm kind of in enjoying the moment right now. Last night I got over 200 emails of people saying that they thought I did a really great job. And me personally, I don't think I did the best I could have done. Um, I've had so many great opportunities to sing in my life, and they've been successful. Unfortunately, this one wasn't. Kelly, um, can you understand her? Huh? Can you understand Mariana? Um, you know, I mean, everyone has their own opinions, and um, it's, you know, I mean, I would advise you never to give up your dream. If this is what you want to do, then by all means, pursue it. So, I mean, everyone... Well, I want to pursue it. Just yeah. not, maybe not through American Idol. Oh, absolutely. I mean, American <laughs> Idol's not for everyone, you know? I mean, yeah. everyone has their own different ways that they want to go out, you know, go about pursuing Definitely. it. So, whatever's best for you, and yeah. I, I support you. Thank you. Aww. Ace? Did you get to sing the other song, even though they couldn't clear it for them? I didn't get to because when I was... Beforehand, you did. Beforehand, I did. Okay. But not when I was when able to sign in and that. Yeah, yeah. then it was switched. Okay. But, you know, I'm enjoying the moment now. I did a lot of radio footage today and um, got over 200 emails just from people. Just lo the really that was kind of nice. Why just do you have faith in me, so it means a lot to Why me. do you think, Maria, we enjoy even watching those people who are rejected? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Tell you the truth, I really never watch that part. I always like when they pick their 12 and I, I enjoy that part. But you have to go through that part in order to get there. What do you think Dean Martin would have said about all this? <laughs> <laughs> it's a new rage of show business. Well, he probably would have called it it's crazy, like, but like, you know, that's what he called I'm Jerry Lewis, crazy. <laughs> <laughs> he does. <laughs> Latoya, would you tell her never to give up? I would tell her never, never, never give up. Um, like Kelly said that, you know, there's plenty of ways out there to, to get discovered. Um, American Idol is just one. So, um, you know, just follow your heart's desire and, and the doors will open for you. They will. Ruben,